So you want to be a junior dev, huh? You think you'll write some cute little console log hello world and the world will shower you with six-figure salaries, unlimited snacks, and that one coworker who explains things without sighing loudly first. Wrong. Apparently, to get a junior dev job, you need five years of experience, mastery of 27 frameworks, and the ability to code while blindfolded, upside down, on a treadmill. Oh, and don't forget, you must have experience as a senior developer. Totally reasonable, right? Yeah, sure. And I guess I also need to know quantum computing and how to make Jeff Bezos laugh. Alright, let's actually talk about this. Because the expectations for junior devs these days are, how do I put this, worse than debugging a missing semicolon at 3am. And trust me, that's saying something. So, you open a job listing for a junior developer role and it says, must have 3 plus years of experience. Wait, junior means beginner. So how am I supposed to get 3 years of experience if nobody hires me in the first place? It's like requiring you to already be married before you can go on your first date. Make it make sense. These job posts list every technology ever invented, such as React, Angular, Vue, Svelte, jQuery, yes, even jQuery, Python, Java, Rust, COBOL, the programming language your grandma used to send emails, plus AWS, Docker, Kubernetes, and the dark arts of configuring production servers at 3 a.m. Like bro, I'm a junior dev, I barely know how to center a div, and now you want me to architect your entire cloud infrastructure? Chill, please. They'll say, we need someone who can hit the ground running, which pretty much translates to, we want you to already know the entire code base of a company you've never worked at. Imagine joining on day one and your manager's like, hey, can you just rewrite our entire backend and fix 12 years of technical debt by lunch? Yeah, sure. Let me just open up my magic wand real quick. But here's the thing. Junior dev rules are supposed to be about learning. You're there to absorb, to shadow, to grow. You're not meant to instantly know how to debug a distributed microservice architecture while also refactoring code some senior wrote drunk in 2015. Here's realistic expectations one should have from junior devs. You should write some features with guidance, fix bugs without causing 12 new ones, ask questions, learn the process, and slowly get better. That's it. That's the gig. The junior in junior developer actually means something. At least it should. Now, of course, if you're a hiring manager watching this, you might be thinking, but we don't have time to train juniors. And that's fair, but maybe don't call it a junior role then. Call it what it really is, which is, we want a senior dev, but we don't want to pay for one. So yeah, junior dev expectations are ridiculous. But hey, look on the bright side. At least they didn't ask you to be proficient in blockchain, metaverse APIs, and AI prompt engineering. Oh wait, never mind. I just saw a listing that did exactly that. Anyway, if you're a junior dev feeling lost, don't worry. The truth is, most of us had no idea what we were doing in our first job. We just googled stuff really fast and prayed nobody asked us to explain our code. So chin up, you're not failing. The system is just dumb. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go update my resume to include 15 years experience in React. Even though React came out in 2013. Totally checks out, right? LOL.